This video shows the stake features command found within the sync pack. This allows me to quickly create Kogo points that I can then use to stake features out in the field. To run the command, I can go to the sync pack one tab, the points panel, and from the dropdown select stake features. Here it's going to ask me to select an item to stake from, and I can go ahead and select my feature line, and then press enter. It'll then add Kogo points along my feature line. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and go ahead and delete them, and run the command again. There was way too many points um, on my frequency, and the frequency was set to 25. If I want to change that, I can type SC for settings, and that'll open up the stake features options dialog box where I can change the values. Here I can give it a description and the defaults TBC. Here I can specify an offset distance and I'm going to do 10 feet. I can specify a staking interval and I can say 50 feet. And then I can have a maximum radius to stake. So if I have a small radius, I don't want a lot of points along it. I can tell it not to use that many. And then I can have a datum adjustment, and that's going to take the elevation of the feature and then raise or lower it by a certain amount. So if I had a feature line that represented the lip of the gutter, I could run the stake uh, report and get each of the interested points from that feature um, without having to create a feature line object directly. Here I can choose what to stake. I can have the interval points be used or not. And then I can set points at PIs or not. Um, here I can choose to have set evenly spaced points. Um, I can always set the curve midpoint. And I can also always include the quarter points and then have a minimum curve length on where I do that. Here I can set radius points on both sides of the feature. I can set points with no elevation um, if they don't have any elevation assigned with it. Here I can include the precision for point descriptions. I can include the offset distance in point descriptions. Um, and the minimum deflection, the angle point fuzz factor. And then I can have the radius point description tags as use the feature description or use an alternative description value. Um, for curves, I can have a more often staking value for that. So right now I have 50, and then I could override it along curves and double the, the numbers of points that I'll end up with. And then I can apply small curve settings when the radius is less than five, and then I can either choose to do the two points or I can have a single point at the midpoint elevation. The edit point creation settings allow me to change the settings of how the points are gonna be created. Um, I could also draw lines between my points and then I can set a line stake and that'll be for reference in the field. And then I can include line stakes at PIs and at interval points or not included at interval points. Once I'm then happy with my settings, I can then hit OK, select my feature I want to label, press Enter, and then it's going to add those values to it. As I'm running it, I may just want to change the offset values. And to do that, I can type FF and press Enter and then I can give it a new offset value. And here I can see it added a point five feet closer to the line. Um, I can also negate the values, flip the points, um, do oops to remove the previous run command, or I could select an object from an XREF. So it makes it quick and easy to create Kogo points that I can then use to stake out in the field. And you can find these, this command within the sync pack.